Hi there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adini Kebalala and in this video we are going to be looking at an IELTS general writing task one semi-formal letter. Now if you've watched um, you know some of my previous videos you'd have seen that I talked about you know, different types of letter formats and how many paragraphs you need and all of that. This time around we are going to do a practice um, question <laughs> that is semi-formal letter that we actually attempted. And this is my attempt and it's worth a band 8 or 8.5 i'm not an examiner but i can assure you that it meets every criteria that you know it should meet so i'm going to share this with you it's taken from the cambridge ielts book 15 and it is test four the writing task one in test four that's the general training book right now so that's cambridge ielts book 15 for general training test four so i'll read the question to you right away it says you have seen an advertisement from a couple who live in Australia for someone to teach their two children your language for a year. Write a letter to the couple. In your letter, explain why you think you would be suitable for the job. Say what else you could do for the family. Give your reasons for wanting the job. Okay, and outside the box, we have write at least 150 words. You do not need to write any addresses. Begin your letter as follows. Dear blank. Okay, with a comma. So you know that when you have dear blank, it's one of two, one of two things. It's either informal or semi-formal. Okay, so if it's informal, you know that you're writing to a friend or a relative, and it's just going to be the person's first name. You're going to fill in into the blank. But with a semi-formal, you know that um, this person isn't exactly close or known to you, but you still want to be not so formal. <laughs> you want to try to be respectful. You want to be polite as well so i'm going to read you my attempts to this from top to bottom and i'll explain why i've written that way so um yes of course in my description box you find this letter there and i'll put i'll put it um i'll put a screenshot of it at the end of the video so that you can you can go through <laughs> as well all right so here we go okay please give me a few seconds okay so this is it dear mr and mrs brown i am adeni kebabalola a young nigerian woman and i'm writing to notify you of my interest to teach your two children yoruba for the period of 12 months as a native yoruba speaker with nine years experience as a yoruba teacher for high school students i believe i have the needed skills and knowledge to help your young ones communicate with your back proficiently. Besides teaching your children the vocabulary, pronunciation and grammar of Yoruba, I can assist with their homework when they return from school daily. I'll be happy to explain difficult lessons and share other study tips that can enable them score high grades. Since I have been unemployed for the past two years, I would love an opportunity to teach Yoruba again, especially in a foreign country. Also, working with your family will be the perfect way to learn a new cu culture <laughs> Sorry, and, um, and make some Australian friends as I've always desired. Finally, I love teaching children and I am eager to spend these 12 months helping your children become fluent speakers of Yoruba. I hope to hear from you soon. Kind regards, Adeni Kebabalala. And this is some... Um, um, Okay, I think it was about 195 words, which is still good. <laughs> okay, so let's, let's, let's look at it very quickly. Now, you know that it's a semi-formal letter, so in your salutation, you use the title of the person, and you know, you were told you were writing to a couple. They are not known to you, but they are not some people in an official position, so you are not using dear sir or madam. You're just going to, you know, write their name into your salutation. So, yeah, I have dear Mr. and Mrs. Brown. Now, the first bullet pointed to tell them why you think you're suitable for the job. And that was what we did here. Yeah. I, you know, introduced myself. I said my name and where I'm from. And um, of course, I told them why I was writing to them. But then answering the question straight on, I said, I'm a native speaker of Yoruba. That's one. And then I have nine years experience teaching, you know, Yoruba, the language to high school students. So this is, this is like... Um, I have the ability, the natural ability, and then I have the training experience or the teaching experience. So those are like the two reasons I give for why I think I'd like to take up this job, okay? 
Now, the second bullet point says you should tell them, um, say what else you could do for the family. And then I went on to tell them that um, apart from teaching the children the language, I can help with their own work when they return from school. I can explain difficult lessons and share other study tips to help them perform excellently, you know, do well, score high grades. That's the second paragraph, okay? And then the third paragraph is the third bullet point where we're asked to give reasons, give your reasons for wanting the job. And then reasons is plural, more than one. So I gave a number of reasons. The first one was, um, I have been unemployed for the past two years. Um, yeah, so you wanted, I, want to, I want to teach in a foreign country. That was the first reason. The second one was, um, it would be a perfect way to learn a new culture and then make some Australian friends. So that's like two points in one. And then finally, I said, I love teaching children. So you see, I give my reasons in the third paragraph. That's all. And I ended it with, I hope to hear from you soon. And then for my complimentary close, you have kind regards, Adini Kebabalola. So you see that um, answering the question, I maintained a not too formal tone. You notice that reading it, it doesn't sound too serious and it doesn't sound disrespectful in any sense. So that's how you write your semi formal letter. Your vocabulary, the tone of your letter, the structure, everything fits what a semi-formal letter should be. So I hope that this has been a good example to help you navigate your way through answering the IELTS General Writing Task 1 semi-formal letter specifically. Once again, my name is Adeni Kebabalala. Don't forget that if you need to take the IELTS mock test, you'll find the link in my description box below. So please make sure you check it and then um, try your hands on the test. Find out if you can you know, face the real test with all the confidence and courage that you need. And if you need to work on your English, please visit um, English Niger here at EnglishNiger.com. You would find all the resources you need to get better at English. Once again, if you need feedback for your IELTS writing, whether it's task one or task two for general training or academic, please let me know by sending an email to adenikembabalola at gmail.com. You'll find the um, email address in my description box. So once again, I'm happy to share this with you and I hope that you are learning. See you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.